أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In this session we are going to focus on discriminant validity using IBM SPSS AMOS So what is discriminant validity? Now once you have assessed the composite reliability and convergent validity as we have done in the last session the next step is assessing discriminant validity Now discriminant validity or divergent validity actually refers to the degree to which the measures that should not be highly correlated with each other are actually distinct or not very highly correlated with each other discriminant validity indicates the extent to which a given construct differs from other constructs in the study since there are multiple measures in a research study that is multiple constructs the constructs shall have their own distinct identity and there shall be no overlapping in order to statistically ascertain the individuality of the constructs discriminant validity is addressed or established discriminant validity in amos can be assessed using fornner and lockel criterion and heterotrait monotrait ratio so what is fornner and lockel criterion fornner and lockel proposed the traditional metric and suggested that each constructs ave that is variance within should be compared to the inter construct correlation as the measure of shared variance between the constructs of the same construct and all other reflectively measured constructs so what you are doing is you are actually comparing the ave that is variance within the construct and comparing it with inter construct correlation that is a measure of shared variance of the same construct that is your construct with ave with all the other constructs now this ave must be greater than the square of correlation or the square root of ave must be greater than the inter construct correlation in short fornell and lacker suggest that ave should be greater than the variance between the construct and other constructs in the model that is the squared correlation between the constructs or otherwise the square root of ave shall be greater than its correlation with all the other constructs in the study thus the square root of the ave of each latent variable should be greater than its correlation with any other latent variable in the assessment or the model in the sample model there are three constructs authentic leadership behavior ethical leadership behavior and life satisfaction now how do you do this in amos so we've got this model here and Let's run this model again. In order to run this, you click the button here, the toolbar button, calculate estimates, and now here is your view text or your output. So what you need is you need AVE and correlation between the constructs. So in order to calculate AVE that we already did in one of the earlier lectures, AVE. Here is the AVE for the different constructs in the study. Let's copy this. and let's use it here put it here now we need the correlation so where is the correlation so if we go to estimates scalars and correlation so here is the correlation estimate for different constructs in the study why do we see e7 and e8 because we covariated them so you just need to copy it click on it right click copy and we put it here now what we are going to do is we are just going to format it a bit so you've got three constructs aut behaving ethically and life satisfaction similarly you put it on the top aut be and life satisfaction so here in this cell what are we going to put in this cell here right at the cross section of aut or authentic leadership behavior here we are going to add this ave but not like this we are going to take its square root so we press is equal to sqrt and select the value press enter and similarly just drag and drop so we have got the square root of ave for authentic leadership behavior ethical leadership behavior and life satisfaction so what's the square root for ave for authentic leadership behavior it's 0.685 so we are going to add 0.685 here what's for be 0.806 and what's for the life satisfaction 0.818 0.818
So what are we going to add here in these empty boxes? As we said that square root of AVE must be higher than its correlation with all other constructs. So the variance within should be greater than the shared variance. So what's the correlation between authentic leadership behavior and behaving ethically? So the correlation is this 0 0.841. 0 0.841. What's the correlation between authentic leadership behavior and life satisfaction? It's 0 0.514, 0 0.514. Now what's the correlation between behaving ethically or ethical leadership behavior and life satisfaction? Here it is, 0 0.605. Now if we look here, this is square root of AV. Let's highlight it, bold italic, so that we can use it, bold italic bold and italic now look at this value this must be higher than the values underneath in this case this is lower than this particular value here so there are issues of discriminant validity this is fine this is fine now when we say under this rather than saying under this we should say that the square root of av for this particular construct should have higher or should be higher than its correlation with all other constructs. Now, the correlation of BE with life satisfaction is 0 0.605 and the square root of AVE for BE is 0 0.806, so this is higher. So what about authentic leadership behavior? Now, we have already checked the correlation of BE and authentic leadership behavior. This is 0 0.841, so we can just put it here, 0 0.841. Now, this should have been higher than these two correlations but this is not the case so what we see here is we've got discriminant validity issues now there is a video on the channel on how to solve these issues but that is on smart pls so a video on solving discriminant validity issues in amos will soon follow now this is one way to assess discriminant validity similarly you can add the correlation here ls and authenticism Life satisfaction and authentic leadership behavior, where is it? Life satisfaction and authentic leadership behavior, 0 0.514, sorry, 0 0.514. And what about life satisfaction and BE? 0 0.605, 0 0.605. Now you see these values here are just repetition of these values here. But this is fine, this is problematic, and this here is problematic. Now, how do you solve this problem? In order to solve this problem, first look at the low loadings. Any problem with the loadings? Let's have a look. Estimates. And if we see here, we've got two values here that are less than 0 0.70. Significantly less than 0 0.70. Even less than 0 0.60. If we delete these, maybe we can improve our square root of AVE. That is, variance within will increase so let's say we delete it. Let's delete these two values. I've got the output here. So I'm not going to use this one. I'm not going to use this one. And I'm just going to type it 0 0.807, 0 0.766, 0 0.71. I'm going to remove this one. Now look at the AVE value and look at this square root 0.762. But we need to recalculate the correlations as well. So let's go back and recalculate it by first deleting the items. So which of the items that we deleted? 3 and 4. So what we'll do is we select this cross here to delete and we'll remove 3 and we'll remove 4. We need to remove the error terms as well. Just remove it and now run your model. Now look at this, output, estimates, scalars, correlation. Now let's copy this, copy. So you click on it and then right click on it and it will copy. And let's have a look, let's put it here. So AVE, square root of AVE is 0.762. So let's change it here, 762. And let's put the correlations here. 
so authentic leadership behavior and behaving ethically is still higher 0.88 authentic leadership behavior and life satisfaction is 0 0.548 548 behaving ethically and life satisfaction is 0 0.605 so now well this is obviously we as we discuss is the interpretation here so we do not need this for now but still we've got a problem still the variance within is less than the shared variance now the reason for this is that authentic leadership behavior and ethical behavior are actually the sub dimensions of servant leadership that i've taken in my study so one of the recommendations when we've got discriminant validity issues like this is to merge the two concepts in this case they are sub dimensions of a higher order construct so they can be merged 